Hello everyone, I am Narg Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what happens when a narcissist realizes you have figured them out. Please hit that thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just head to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. What happens when a narcissist realizes you figure them out? Most people who are dealing with narcissists do not realize that they are being manipulated. They do not realize that they have been sucked into a mind game such as guilt or humiliation. And that is how these mind games have proven to be effective for narcissists because their victims don't understand what is going on. So they remain locked in the relationship and then the narcissist is able to gain control, which means that most victims just end up criticizing and punishing themselves for no reason. They praise the narcissist too much they try to help them. They flatter them excessively in order to obtain some benefit or favor. They try to gain their approval by doing helpful and friendly things. Because although they're being abused, they may believe that it's their fault. So they try to be better because they want the narcissist to like them. Some victims may just keep their head down to try to avoid trouble or involvement in a situation that might otherwise be difficult or dangerous for them. So they learn to walk on eggshells around the narcissist. They behave in a quiet and peaceful way so that the narcissist will not notice them. They direct all of their efforts into a task in order to distract themselves which may put them into a state of intense concentration because they're trying to hide in order to protect themselves. While other times, they may try to take charge. They may assume control and responsibility. They may act in anticipation of future problems, needs or changes of the narcissist to prepare for, intervene in, or control an expected occurrence or situation, especially one that may prove to be negative or challenging. They will bend over backwards for the narcissist. They will try extremely hard to help and please them. They will do everything they can, but it won't be of any use. It will be rendered ineffective, and it may even make matters worse to the point where many victims will never realize what they're actually dealing with. But some victims eventually begin to figure it out. They begin to realize that they're dealing with a narcissist, or at the very least, they recognize that they're being manipulated and abused. They understand that they're being lied to. They have worked out that this person is presenting a problem because narcissists are difficult to deal with and understand. They're likely to elicit objections and disapproval, which can be very troublesome and challenging. It can pose a risk to a person's physical and mental health. Victims typically come to this realization during the devaluation phase, which can occur before or after the discard phase because sometimes the narcissist will hoover the victim only to devalue them again. And when that happens, most victims just go along with it. They assume that they are to blame even though they are not. But some victims will call out the narcissist. They may even say to them that they are a manipulator, a liar and an abuser. And when that happens, some narcissists may know that you have figured them out. Some of them may know that you know exactly what you're dealing with, but many narcissists are not self-aware. They do not know that they are narcissists, so they don't feel like they've been caught out. 
They don't think that they should have to do anything about it. Because they may not even be aware that they manipulate and abuse. Which is why when you accuse them of doing that, they will be shocked. Because you're revealing information to them that was not previously known. Which may be difficult for you to comprehend. Because you're aware of yourself. And you're aware of your own actions and behaviours. But then not... They're disconnected from themselves and their emotions. Which is why if you accuse a narcissist of being manipulative and abusive, they will not accept it. They're not looking at it as though you figured them out. So now they're going to deny it. They can't see what you see. So they genuinely do not believe what they actually are. But narcissists that are higher on the spectrum, especially those that are sociopaths and psychopaths, are self-aware. Which means that they will know when you have figured them out. But it may be difficult to differentiate between a narcissist who is self-aware and a narcissist who is not self-aware. Because they will both respond with denial. With an unwillingness to accept that something about themselves is true in order to render your accusations ineffective and to prevent you from gaining control. But if you continue with your accusations, then you have removed the effect of their denial. And when something is no longer effective for a narcissist, they will resort to any other form of manipulation. So they may just refuse to recognize or acknowledge what you're saying to them. They may just leave. They may project that it is you who is the narcissist. They may become physically violent. They may gaslight you or engage in word salad. Or some narcissists will even pretend to share your perspective. And they may even promise to change. But if you go along with that, you're just going to fall prey to their future faking. Because the narcissist is never going to become fully aware of what they are. They will always deny it. But just because they deny it, it doesn't mean that they will leave you alone for good. If you are their primary source, they will place you on the shelf. They will put you back in the toy box to where you become a secondary source. Because what really reveals to a narcissist that you have figured them out is not the allegation. It's how you behave after accusing them. Because if your behavior changes, that means that their manipulation is no longer effective. And when they realize that their manipulation is no longer effective, they have this awakening where they're able to sense that something is wrong. But if you keep making accusations, you're threatening their supply which is why they will try to render your accusations ineffective because they want to keep getting supply. And yet they know they're not going to get any supply if you think they're a narcissist. But if your behavior changes in a way where you're no longer doing what they want and you're no longer reacting in the way that you once did, then they know that something is wrong. Because there was once a time when they would give you the silent treatment and you would chase after them. It would affect you emotionally and you would try to solve everything. But you're not responding that way anymore. And what tells a narcissist that you figured them out is not you telling them that you know. It is the change in your behavior which causes the problem. Because if you accuse them of being a narcissist, but you continue interacting with them, there isn't a problem. Because you're still giving them fuel. You're still under their control. And you're still providing them with your qualities and traits. So there isn't a problem for the narcissist. If you're calling them out, it will pose a threat to their supply, which is something that they must deal with. But once they've invalidated your argument, It's not a problem anymore because it's far beyond the scope of their awareness unless, of course, you're dealing with a sociopath or psychopath. 
So the main issue that the narcissist will have will be based on how your behavior changes over time. If you continue making the accusations, or if you no longer do what they want, or if you're just not reacting in the way that you once did, because then you're no longer giving them fuel, and they're no longer getting the same benefits and conveniences that they were getting before, which means you're now threatening their control. And when that happens, the sociopath and psychopath will know that you have figured them out. But the narcissist will not consciously know. They will only sense that something is wrong because they're no longer in control. They won't see it as though you've figured them out because they're not self-aware. So they will just see it as though something must be wrong with you. Which means that the devaluation will get even worse in order for them to exert control and it may result in harmful and destructive behaviours to where they may even run a smear campaign and speak about you in a spitefully critical manner to bring you back under their control by causing you to stop not doing what they want and react to their behaviour. And once they finally get the reaction they're looking for, you may then get a period of time where there is peace, harmony and stability. And they may become overly nice and friendly, where they are very eager and excited to help and assist you, which is known as intermittent reinforcement. And it is meant to condition you to respond the way that they would like, and so that you do what they want. But even once you conform to their expectations of you, that period of rest and relief will not last for long, because they've already gained control and your supply loses its potency. So there is no reason for them to expend their energy once they already, they've already got you where they wanted you. Which means that they will continue to devalue you because they've already achieved the result that they were looking for. There has been a change in your behavior. So although you may have figured them out, it's no longer a problem for the narcissist because they're still getting the responses they want from you. They're not concerned about the initial accusation. What bothers the narcissist is the change in your behaviour, which tells them that you know what you're dealing with. The sociopath and psychopath will immediately recognise what it is, while the narcissist won't fully understand, but they will recognise that there is something wrong, because they no longer have the same level of control that they had before as a result of the change in your behavior. So the devaluation will become even worse in order for them to exert control, unless you are a secondary source. Because if you are a secondary source, they will place you on the shelf and deal with someone else. But if you are the primary source and the devaluation fails to cause a shift in your behaviors, then they will give you the silent treatment because they will recognize that you have figured them out which may pose a permanent threat to their control. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.